Hi guys, today we're going to unbox the iFlight H7 version 2.1. It's a 7 inch frame from iFlight. So let's start. I actually opened just this plastic, but yes, this is how it looks for the first time. So this one is you have two arms for the front and the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There. Pretty sweet. The other version has a holes here for for zip ties. I don't know what that for. And they still have these hooks. I wish they took this off. Yeah, but this one protects your motors. One TPU mount for your antenna. One battery grip or rubber rubber footings two straps yes same length and another two two cameras i think this one is for your cam for your gopro camera it's long it's quite long decent design Then standouts and screws and the bottom plate and the top plate this is the bottom plate and this one is the top plate with the sign on it and this is for the camera Cage manual, at least they have manual and stickers. Is stickers two e straps for your battery, two e straps for your GoPro, one. Uh, battery grip to two arms for the front and back one top plate one oh one bottom plate one top plate and for the camera cage four rubber footings one TPU mount for your uh, antenna for your VTX antenna and your uh, receiver antenna yes and screws so we're it will start building it now so you'll see this they got this wider holes than this one so these wider holes are facing upwards okay okay and put the shorter stand standoffs okay put the shorter standoffs here hard for the first screw but after this it's gonna be easy next same thing with the front arms So you use for for the stand the shorter standoffs you use the longest screws to attach it. Put this one first. Then oh then I don't know but I believe that the things are meant to be and You see, put these two parts first 
here and then snap it this okay just hold it where is it there put the stand ups use the shorter screws the trickiest part but yeah after this after you put this one it's gonna be easy the screws now are all short screws so I don't have anything to use anymore so I'll use the short screws Actually, it's easy. Actually, this one is easier to build. For the, for the top plate, you just slide this top plate here. As you see, where are the Okay, just slide your top plate here and flash it inside. There. Hope it's clear for you. And it's the, that's the time you put all the screws so there so we'll check the weight of this one so the weight is uh, 140.2 grams So I think it's 146.28 grams. Uh, one thing I love with iFlight frames are they're really specific in their designs, like the details. I love the details. And this one is a dead cut style. So the props won't be seen on the camera. For this frame, for this body, this is the weakest part, the middle. Because the middle has only two two millimeters plates that connects the two bodies oh look at that there's a flex we'll see how it flies maybe they should go uh, spread this one here spread this back here yeah maybe but yeah all, but all in all I love this frame I bought this for about fifty seven point ninety nine dollars from Queen Out Queen Out is a company from China so somebody said like if you buy stuff from Queen Out so it's gonna be 20 days minimum you should be really willing to wait but I think it cost me for only 10 days to receive it I don't think I'll still order from China because it's really pain in the ass I advise you to order from from the US companies because it really take us two to three days to deliver as long as they have the stocks you, if they don't have the stocks that's the time you order from China I will be making a full build video of this one my seven inch frame so so subscribe and yes watch out for my next video